Do you know when the U.S. was founded? Like 1901. It's no secret that us Americans have literally no attention span and are addicted to the high that we get when we scroll through TikTok. We're all given a cell phone at the age of 10 and then we're instantly hooked. And our attention span and our capability to sit and focus on certain things just completely goes out the window. So now we're all hyper and we don't really know what to do when there's nothing to do. And we're completely dysfunctional. We'd be lost and bored out of our minds in the societies of generations past. And this is a big problem because science Scientists are saying that Gen Z is going to be the first generation to have a lower collective IQ than their parents. What country is Mount Rushmore in? Japan. Which is kind of crazy, but it's also kind of sad to think that this tiny little device that we have in our pockets could literally be the downfall of society. But anyways, the basic point is Gen Z is a nervous wreck that needs constant stimulation. So how does the movie industry keep up with this? Well, they can't do what they did before back in the 80s and the 90s where they told good stories that slowed down and tried to tackle bigger themes and ideas about philosophy that really made you think, but also made you feel. But they were also cool at the the same time. No, we don't do that anymore. Now we just make fast-paced, vapid action movies that literally have nothing to say about anything. You barely get any emotions except for, oh no, someone died. It makes you feel sad for a little bit and then we move on. All of our superhero films are created by committees that are using algorithms to predict what will stimulate the brains of the people watching this the most and how can we maximize that. And this is very apparent in all of the recent big movies that we've been watching. You see this in the Marvel movies, some of the recent DC movies in the Star Wars sequel trilogy, the Jurassic World movies. All the new Disney remakes are just more dopamine-inducing versions of the old stories so that this new generation can watch them and not get bored out of their minds. So I think this generation's inability to pay attention for long periods of time has been the death of cinema. Or if you don't think it's dead yet, it will be the death of cinema because in order to consume and appreciate good art and a good story, you actually have to be able to sit down and pay attention and really comprehend deeper things that are trying to be said through the story. But that's not something that filmmakers are trying to do right now and that's not something that audiences would be ready for. And when films do try to do that, people usually see them as boring. And I'm not talking about boring, pretentious Oscar nominees that nobody watches. I'm talking about actual good films that are interesting but still also try to tackle bigger philosophical issues. I'm thinking of classics like the Godfather trilogy, or if you want to go more recent, The Dark Knight. These aren't boring, stupid, pretentious films that get nominated for Oscars that nobody cares about. These are actually good mainstream movies that actually try to say something about morality and the human condition. That's not something that any modern superhero or blockbuster movie attempts to do. Because to do that, you have to slow your film down at parts. You have to make it a little less accessible to the broadest possible audience. You have to make it not super catered towards Gen Z that can't pay attention to anything if you want to explore those themes correctly. So how does Hollywood fix this? Well, the answer is they can't. Hollywood is existing inside of this culture of social media that requires everything to be fast-paced and constantly giving you adrenaline and dopamine hits in your brain. Because we know how the brain works, and the more your brain receives a chemical like dopamine, the more it's going to want it, right? Those chemicals are actually addictive. So when kids are on TikTok all day, they're actually addicting themselves to the chemicals that are being released in their brain as they do that. So they're not addicted to the literal phone, they're addicted to what their brain is producing because they're looking at the phone. So now these kids, their brains are actually changed. The physical chemistry of their brain actually looks different because they're on these devices. So as long as this is the fact for literally the vast majority of children, Hollywood has to make movies that are geared towards people with that kind of attention span who want those constant dopamine hits. So unless we stop all being on TikTok all the time, all playing these super fast-paced video games, and yes, the movies do sort of contribute to the problem problem that the movies wish they didn't have, but I feel like the movies more were a reaction to the whole social media thing and not the other way around. So unless we get rid of that kind of culture where we're literally addicting ourselves to dopamine hits, then 
Movies are just gonna have to adapt to be the way they are now, which is bad. For those of us who enjoy more slower paced older movies that actually try to go deeper and really make you think, we're not gonna be getting that as much anymore. In fact, we're rarely gonna get it. Maybe Christopher Nolan's movie that he makes every three years will be good and really make us think, but most of the movies are gonna be your Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania, your Jurassic World Dominion, your formulaic, non-offensive movie that just constantly stimulating your eyes so that you don't get bored. And for those of us who do have an appreciation for the slowed down films, who do have an appreciation for in moderation, deep themes being tackled, all these fast-paced action movies just turn into white noise. When I watch those space battles in The Mandalorian, I'm not super interested and invested in them the way I am in the ones from Empire Strikes Back, right? Now I just sort of see it all as this cluster of CGI stuff on the screen that makes me glassy-eyed, and I'm like, okay, I turn it down when the action happens in most movies now, and I'm sure a lot of other people experience this. I'm not asking for every film to be a slow, deep character study, okay? I love action movies, I love the fast-paced things, but I do want movies to slow down every once in a while, okay? And not in a boring way well, if, where it feels like it's dragging, but in a way that makes you stop to think, to think about philosophy and the human condition and the way that that ties into the story and the way that that ties into yourself. Movies don't do that anymore because it's too boring. But to those of us who enjoy that slower pace, the new stuff is actually more boring. Let me know what you think about all that down in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. And if you enjoy the stuff that I make on this channel, make sure to subscribe and I hope to see you back next time I upload.